Heading into the 2014-2015 NBA season, the Cavs, Bucks, and Lakers have some big moves to make here in the preseason as well as some big things to announce. So this episode of the Tri-Team IGM will feature a big trade, a huge free agency signing, and some new facial hair? Let's get right into it. So heading into the season, the Kobe-less Lakers have a lot of unanswered questions. Who's going to be the star? Who's going to take over the team? Who's going to knock down the shot in the closing seconds of a game? Those are all questions that are left to be answered. And starting off this episode, Ronnie Price is on the chopping block. Now, he is an expiring contract and he is one of four point guards on this team. And he's got a lot of value on the open market. So we're going to go ahead and shop around Ronnie Price. Now, one of the players we are looking at are, is Zach Levine. Now, as you guys know, Zach Levine, the slam, the 2014 slam dunk champion, also went to UCLA, trying to pick him up. And as much as it hurts the Lakers to trade a first round pick, it is for Zach Levine. And hopefully this investment turns out well. And Zach Levine comes out and balls for the Los Angeles Lakers. We got the real jam going down. Welcome to the Space Jam. Here's your chance. Do your dance at the Space Jam. So will Zach Levine be the missing link for this Los Angeles Lakers squad or will he join the list of several other draft busts in the NBA? There is only one way to find out and that will be determined by the end of this season. So before I get into the Cleveland Cavaliers highlights of the week, I just wanted to ask you guys, what is your favorite NBA team? My favorite NBA team is the Los Angeles Lakers. Let me know what your favorite team is in the comment section down below. Also, if we have 50 likes on this video, I will try to upload another episode tomorrow. So be sure to hit 50 likes on this video. So the Cleveland Cavaliers heading into the season are pretty well off, I would say. Stacked with players such as LeBron James, Kyrie Irving, uh, Kevin Love, J.R. Smith, and Iman Chumper. I mean, this team, they're looking good. There aren't many changes that are really needed to be made so early in the season, considering we haven't played any games yet. But starting things off for the Cleveland Cavaliers, they need a big man. With Brandon Haywood out with an injury and Anderson Verge out, out with an injury as well, a big man is the position that they need. Now, they also need a prominent three-point shooter. They do have Mike Miller, but with Mike Miller's inconsistency, with injuries, it just makes sense to try to find another three-point shooter. And so two of the potential players that the Heat are looking at, or the Cavs are looking at, excuse me, are Ray Allen and Andrew Bynum. But the most important thing on their list right now is a center. So they're going to go ahead and look at Andrew Bynum. But before they do that, take a look at Ray Allen. He's asking for $4.17 million dollars which is definitely a lot of money and as you guys can see the Cavs don't have too much cap space available so they're gonna go ahead and skip out on Ray Allen as of right now so taking a look at Andrew Bynum right here he's asking for 4.71 million dollars and that is pretty much the team's complete MLE right there but they, we I mean the Cavs need a big man that is the one position that they need and he would end up accepting the offer for $4.71 million. So taking a look at the Cleveland Cavaliers starting lineup and just overall roster for the season, Kyrie Irving, J.R. Smith, LBJ, K-Love, and Timothy Mozgov round off the starting lineup with Iman Shumpert, Sean Marion, Tristan Thompson, and a couple other players coming off of the bench. The Cavs are looking good this season and heading into the season, they look very confident and healthy. Now a team that doesn't look healthy, the Milwaukee Bucks, the third and final team in this episode and the third team that I chose for this series. So with injuries to Kendall Marshall, Jabari Parker, Damian Inglis, Larry Sanders, Ursan Ilyasova, and Zaza Pachulia, 
there's only one question that comes to my mind. Should the Bucks tank? Or should they actually try and get a playoff berth? Now that question, I can't answer. But I am sure that you at home can answer. So let me know in the comment section down below. Should, should the Bucks tank? Or should they try and go and make the playoffs? Now without Jabari, it's going to be tough. But I think that they can do it. Now, right here, the Bucks are shopping around Jared Bayless. Now, as you guys know, with five injuries to the team, we can't release any players or else we'll be, we'll be below the league's limit. So we're trying to ship off Jared Bayless for virtually nothing. And by nothing, I mean no player. And right here, we get a trade offer from the Detroit Pistons for a first round pick in return for shooting guard Jared Bayless. And we would end up accepting it. So coming down to the question, Milwaukee Bucks missing five players. It's going to be tough. Brandon Knight's going to have to step up. But the question is, to tank? or not to tank that is the real question right there so thank you guys for watching this episode quick recap of the tri team my jam episode zach levine got traded to the lakers find him signed with the Cavs, and the milwaukee bucks traded for a first round pick from detroit hope you guys all enjoyed the video 50 likes for the next video very very soon thank you guys for all the support and i will see you guys in the next one